Welcome back. The 2019 Business Confidence Index shows that most foreign investors are still confident about working in Indonesia. About 60% of the respondents stated that it has a positive outlook on doing business in Indonesia over the next 12 months. But however, investors are still concerned about several factors. According to the Business Confidence Index, many investors feel that Indonesia's regulations might negatively impact the business. Indonesia's regulations for doing business can be particularly strict, especially for foreign companies. While Indonesia welcomes foreign investment, it also has some rules to make sure that incoming investment gives as much value as possible to the local economy. The second most popular challenge of doing business in Indonesia is that the complex bureaucracy and the red tape. Investors will have to interact with many different organizations and ministries in the process of doing business in Indonesia. The government has made steps to simplify the process, such as introducing the online single submission system in 2018, but the business still need a few weeks before their company is ready to launch. Like many emerging markets, Indonesia can be protective of its domestic industries, such as a business that will have to face strict regulations when it comes to getting licenses and the products that can, they can import. According to the survey, about 55% of foreign businesses are worried about facing customs and import regulations. Labor policy and corruptions are also the other factors that becomes a huge challenge when doing business in Indonesia. From all sources for IDX Channel. Amidst some challenges in doing business in Indonesia, there's a lot of business players that are keep tackling obstacles and keep on ruling Indonesia's market. And in this segment, I would like to present you some data about the brands that kick in Indonesia market. So let's check the data. These are the five brands that kick in Indonesia market. So um, first of all, we got Garuda Indonesia with a score of 65.9 uh, and then WhatsApp with a 57.1 score and then Indomie, the famous instant noodle in Indonesia, 55.2 uh, in the score and uh, Aqua that reached a score of 54.3 and then Google with a score of 52.4 and the source is from YouGov 2019 and as a matter of fact YouGov is international research data analytics group that headquartered in London and YouGov had placed Garuda Indonesia as the best brand in Indonesia 2019 and the state-owned enterprise obtained as much as 65.9 score and another Indonesia's local brand that has entered the big five brands are the most kicking brand in Indonesia are Indomie and Aqua. The other brands that are kicking are also from telecommunications and information technology companies, which is Google and WhatsApp. So what are actually the indicators of these brands that had been assessed by YouGov? So let's check the next data. These are the indicators of brand being assessed by YouGov. First of all, impressions on how the brand will attract and engage the buyers for uh, the products. And the second one is the brand value. And the third one is recommendations from the other people. And the fourth one, we can see the quality of products and services. Good quality and products never lie to the buyers. And the fifth one is consumer satisfactory that also lead into the quality of products and services as well. And the sixth one is about the reputations of the brand itself and the companies engage in the process of the quality assurance as a means to ensure a high quality product in a, during the development of products or services. Quality assurance is one of the facets of the largest discipline of the quality management. Managing the quality of productions involve many detailed steps of planning and fulfilling and also monitoring activities. And the quality assurance functions is concerned with the confirming that a firm's quality requirements will meet a business can build a positive reputation for reliability and consistency when it ensures a level of consistent quality in its product or services. And this bolsters consumer trust and confidence in the business and help the business compete with others in the same market. From one category, we are going to see another category. Here is the five famous local brands with the highest market value in Indonesia. 
So we can see five famous local brands with the highest market value in Indonesia. First, the foremost, we got BCA from the banking sectors that reached market value 13.05 billion US dollars, such a fantastic number. And then the second position goes to the banking sectors as well, which is a BRI with a 10.9 billion US dollar market value. And the third one is from the telecommunication sectors, or so-called telecom cell, with a 7.3 billion US dollar. And next, email for 7.02 billion US dollar. And next, Mandiri from the banking sectors as well for 6.2 billion US dollar market value. And we can assess that through the data, uh, banking sectors are the leading for the market value in Indonesia. And this source is from Kantar, a research company based in London, had placed the bank Central Asia as an Indonesian's local brand with the highest brand and market value. BCA's market value reached 13 billion US dollar as mentioned before. And such achievement is fully supported by the company's effort to serve consumer friendly innovations through smartphone based services. It is also resulting that the huge market penetrations as much as 20 million consumers. Having a well mastery in occupying domestic market had triggered some Indonesian's local brand having a massive ambitions to penetrate another potential market outside the Indonesia. Here it is, four Indonesian's brand that kicked out some challenges and start to rule the foreign market. So let's check the data. So here it is, we've got Indonesian's brands that are flying abroad. First of all, we got Jaco Donuts and Coffee. We can see this store in all over malls in Indonesia for sure. And the second one is Alpha Mart. As well like a Jaco Donuts, Alpha Mart you can see in the regional or maybe in the city, we you can see the Alpha Mart all over Indonesia. And Mart Tatila are from the cosmetic sectors. And uh, the fourth, surprisingly, it's a Turkish dish, but in the package of Indonesians, it's so called Kebab Baba Rafi. And the source we got from the Ministry of Trade by July 2019. And first of all, Jaco is the fastest growing donut and coffee chain in Indonesia with 200 36 stores open since 2005 and they have successfully penetrated into the local market in Indonesia against Krispy Kreme and Dunkin Donut to become one of the market leaders donuts and coffee and in terms of international growth they have been rapidly expanding their store chains throughout Southeast Asia countries such as Malaysia Singapore Philippines and Hong Kong bringing the total store count over 275 chains in 2000 and and 17. And in Singapore, they have opened their first brands in 2008 with a total of three stores. And in 2012, Jaco entered the Philippines with now like 44 stores open as of 2017. And also in December in 2019, in December 2016, Jaco opened the first branch in Hong Kong. As an inspiration for all Indonesian brands to go international, here's the list of the five food and beverages companies with the biggest brand value in the world. So let's check the data. Here we got the five biggest fast F&B restaurants in the world. Of course, one of the foremost is McDonald's. It's just like Alpha Mart all over Indonesia, but McDonald's is all over the world. With the market value, 130.4 billion US dollars. And um, Starbucks, uh, the place in the second positions with uh, 45.9 billion US dollars. And KFC, and of course, Subways, and Domino's Pizza with the last but of, of course, with the 9.6 billion US dollars, is still in a huge amount. And the source, we got studies from the Sasta 2019. And statistic company originated from a Germany, Statista that I mentioned before, had placed McDonald's at a food and beverages company with the biggest brand value. The total value of MACD reached 130.4 billion US dollar when it comes to reasons why consumers in the USA, to be exact, loving these brands of the taste. They don't really care about the health factors. The the success of McDonald's is the business equivalent of the American dream, or everyone's dream actually. It has possibly become the premier example for the business model.
style, with the roots that trace back into the single drive in started in a pair of backup brothers, Dick and McDonald's. In the south, in the Southern California, McDonald's has grown to a network of well over 35,000 locations in more than 100 countries. And hopefully, Indonesia brands will have the same expansions like these brands. Amen and stay tuned because we will be right back.